Hello and welcome back to Gen 4 at Atlanta, Legacy Atlanta. I say welcome back, of course, because we were just here for the Diet Dr. Pepper series about a week ago, and it did not go well. <laughs> we, uh, we died on lap 5, and uh, didn't really get to race this combo too much, but thankfully, we've got some official racing to do here this week. Now... It seems the track is much slower than the conditions we had. As you can see, 30.9s are kind of the best I'm seeing. So, um, a little bit slower overall. But got some laps in, kind of getting a, an idea of what the car is willing to give us. Just bigger lifts off is what's necessary for the hot laps. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I get to race the whole thing here. Although I, uh... I don't know if I feel too confident that official racing is going to be any cleaner than league racing. League racing wasn't very clean for me. Although that said, it was a pretty good race after we died, so... I guess there's that. So we'll run through 1 and 2 right there. I'm actually going to take the high line in 3 and 4 as well. That's just what I tip typically find works best for me, just because I much prefer the high line. We'll probably take a, a middle line for this final lap here. But we'll get another run, so that's cool. First lap looking good, second lap even better maybe. I'm actually going to do high line again. Sorry, I just like running the high line, this is probably dumb, but listen, I'm having fun, okay? I like the high line and I don't get to do it during the race because it kills the tires. I got I I think I pushed it even more, it feels like the uh, track sped up just a bit. And now I got kind of tight there, so we'll do a practice pit stop. Feeling good about my time for now, but we have a couple of guys known for being very fast in here who are probably going to overtake me, if I had to guess. That uh, is the likes of Larry Pace and Thomas Lewandowski. They're always going to be tough guys to beat, so. Pit stop was clean. Happy with that. Lewandowski. Just a tiny bit behind us, and that was on his first lap. I bet he's faster the second lap. In fact, Larry took it easy the first lap. He's going to shoot right up past us. That was probably the smart thing to do if the second lap was faster. He's saved his tires the first lap, then pushed the second lap, and that's why he gets the pull. So, a little live commentary of a, <laughs> a qualifying lap we couldn't see, but I knew exactly what was happening. As soon as I saw that he was the slowest of the guys that qualified, I'm like, yep, that was probably a good move. That's probably what you got to do. So he'll edge us out there. Uh, we will keep in front of Lewandowski, who much, must have uh, gotten loose or spun or something. Oddly enough, Larry got 2x. Not sure how he did that, because I saw both of his laps counted. Maybe afterward, he just goofed around and smacked the wall or something. I don't know. I'm sure he doesn't mind taking uh, a little bit of a discounted safety rating hit. I'm, just, I'm pretty sure he's like at a 4.9 like I am. Yeah, I just checked. Race Lab, you can't see it, but I can. He's a 4.9 like Lewandowski and like myself. And uh, who else? Anybody else? Uh-oh, nope. <laughs> no more a 4.9s. This is actually a B 2.3. That's a little concerning. But hopefully it's just because he does a ton of like short track series or something. And uh, so his safety rating... Doesn't look so good, even though he is a clean racer. We'll see. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of concerned that uh, this could be messy. Most, you know, pretty much any Gen 4 public race that we do has a chance to be messy. And I think it could be especially... Uh, especially oh my god, I am so sorry. Especially so here, because... 
Uh, I think there's going to be guys that want to save tires, because tire saving is very important here at Atlanta, and then there's going to be guys that are like, I'm fast. I can go fast. And then they just run the high line the first couple of laps, or just like completely overdrive it and smack into the back of somebody. That's most of the wrecks I've seen and been involved with in Gen 4 so far, is just people just destroying the back of someone on corner entry, because you actually have to lift off in these cars. And all that, so... I just hope I'm not one of them that gets hit. That's you know, you know how it is. We get to start in my sarcasm. Favorite spot in the field, P2. Gotta love it. As for car settings, I went 12 to 1. That's the steering ratio I'm defaulted to, or what I like to default to and everything. Negative 15 because of the twisted sister body of this car. Prefer it to, to be... Negative 15, some of the ARCA car. Front brake bias we got at 60. I could definitely see using brake a little later in the run. Particularly in 3 and 4, I think it might get a little tighter. So we're going to have that back a little bit. And so the brakes can get us as much rotation as possible. One to go. Next and as you saw, I was able to get on pit road despite the lower brake bias. So hopefully that won't be an issue either. We could just barely make it. You can see here on fuel past halfway I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and pit on like lap 41 <clears throat> I think that'll be the play and the reason for that here's my thought process uh, pretty much everybody's gonna be pitting on lap 40 to try to cut it in half I think this is all assuming it goes green of course and uh, if somebody you know runs someone over who's entering the pits or there's some sort of crash I won't uh, lose out, end up a lap down because of the caution that might come out, and uh, lap 41 because I don't really want to stretch it all the way, 42, because if I, you know, overdrive uh, pit entry and have to abandon ship, then uh, I don't want to run out of gas halfway through that lap that I uh, plan to take, so 41 I think is the plan with that. And we are going to be rolling here in just a moment. Session last lap up, so that way we can just be consistent. Hopefully not get run over like I've been saying. You know, maybe make it past lap 5. We'll see. We'll save a little bit of fuel, I guess. You know, if we can make it to lap 42, like if we're able to stretch it a little farther that'd be great I'm not gonna try for it or anything but couldn't hurt uh, if I happen to get to lap 42 with still you know another lap in the tank we'll do that second gear start is what I assume we'll be using here first gear is just so sketchy in this car even if uh, you've got some room seemingly in the RPM range to do so. In fact, this car, uh, or pretty much any car, especially this car, but a lot of cars very uh, kind of wily on throttle here at, on uh, starts and restarts. So, just gotta be ready for that. Okay, the ice car is in. Green, 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 green flag, green flag. Keep those open. The next car's the leader. Alright, we get it done. And big lift. We're going to want to be near the bottom, I think. Got Harvick get around here. Well, you're entering very low. That's interesting. He's actually easing out of the corner very much as well.
Lundaski says, I want the track position. So he's going to go up high. Could be merit to it. I imagine he'd drop the pace down a little bit more once he actually gets up there. We're just going to ease on by here. I think Larry's going mega saving. He's shopping with coupons. He's saving hard. <laughs> that was probably the stupidest thing I've ever said. Anyway. We'll follow the Lewandowski here. And Larry, like I said, really, really easing off. Good payoff. But he's losing a lot of time, too. Interesting. It'll be really interesting to see how that works out. I'm going to keep it down low down here. Still think that's going to be a good place to be. I like that uh, there's a couple different approaches here. We've got some really fast guys. Both in front of and behind us directly right now. With some different approaches. Which tells me that there's no like consensus perfect way to go about it. And, you know, you don't get that like full single file fest that you'll sometimes get. Larry's backing off a little bit more early on here. Lundowski said I want the track position. I myself kind of found myself in the middle a little bit. I guess more of Lewandowski's side because I'm following him right now. I don't even really know how this car is going to evolve too much over long run, just because I didn't get the chance to do so in the lead. This is, of course, my first race this week at this combo. Atlanta, you know, typically. Very big tire setting place, though. Legacy Atlanta, of course. We don't talk about New Atlanta. <laughs> talk about Bruno, we don't talk about New Atlanta. That's how it works here. But, you know, I imagine it's going to get tied on entry and loose on exit. That's uh, That would make sense to me. So we'll try to avoid too much of either. Green so far. I'd love to see that. I was definitely worried it could be a bit messy. We've got ourselves a decent strength of field, though, at 2.8k. Maybe a little top heavy. You know, the guy's uh, like number 25 back there was just around the 1. I don't remember, 5k range. But still not too bad. No uh, 100 I rating people in here. Where did I have recently that had that? It was, uh. Oh yeah, I had a late night single split Indy Road in the Arca car. Gavin was in that race. There was somebody that was, according to Race Lab, 0.0k I rating on road. Which was kind of funny. So, we don't have that at least. Big run right there. Good consistency. Keep them coming. I feel like I'm being really nice to the tires, but you got guys like Larry Pace back there doing just nothing to the tires, I imagine. Probably basically fresh back there. So if and when he decides to start pushing the car. It'll be interesting to see how quickly he catches up to us. Another good run out of four. Almost drifted it up into the wall. That would have been bad.
Just big lifts off early. I haven't really used brake yet. I think just because I've been so nice to the tires, though, overall. Is Larry trying to catch us now? 0.7 back there? Maybe. Do we try to overtake? Is it that time yet? Don't know. Oh, wow, that got loose. I did not expect that. Just got right down by that white line down there and it just started turning. That was kind of crazy. I did not expect that. Well, that's something to watch out for, I guess. It felt really odd. It just stepped out on me out of nowhere. Must be getting some significant uh, rear tire wear. Probably even on the left side tires as well. That seems to be a thing uh, in uh, the Gen 4 as well. It's pretty loose. Handling wise, not unbearable by any means, but I think that's because we've been pretty good to it. I remember uh, getting loose in the quad oval here was a thing for some people, so gotta be careful of that as well. moment really hurt me. Probably tire wear and uh, obviously speed wise. Lost a little bit of distance. I was right up behind. Let's see there. Larry's catching me. I'm actually taking a higher line. And we got a caution. I see that. <clears throat> Two sets of tires. Can't make it to the end. I don't think. No. Just remember how close it was. Man, what do we do, though? It was a pretty clean first 17 laps, but... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what we do. We just follow uh, the two. Do what he does. So at least we won't be alone. Whatever decision we make. It's been kind of cool how limited the tires are in this series. It really puts uh, some strategy situations into play. It feels like most other series, they give you just a buttload of tires. The leader, Lewandowski, is pitting. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. So, we uh, end up going into the pits. We're taking tires. Pit box team, 10. Presumably. 5, 3, 2, 1. Right here. Just a terrible pit entry there. I was like super back and forth on it. 86. 80. Oh, that's an 89. Go, go, go! We'll let that guy go, that's fine. Be mindful. You oh, only have one light up the rear line tires line for no reason. Lewandowski did a better job. Water is wet. Larry Pace did an even better, better job. Because he was catching us. Same thing. I had that muted this whole time. I doubt I missed much. Probably people mad at whatever that caution was. That's about it.
The 11? Gain some spots. Oh, we got people staying out. That makes sense. I'm still scared, though. This is definitely a place we could have people spinning on the restart. Especially on the colder, older tires. Kind of glad I'm in the, on the inside here. I feel like I can escape better down here. Sorry if I missed it, I have my chat muted, but we do have guys on old tires up front, so be ready to check up and be a little slower on the restart. Just gonna say it, in case uh, some people don't know. Hopefully it'll work out. Gonna have to just be smart about this. I hope the guys behind don't try to do anything stupid. Make it three wide or anything. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Post car is off. Time to do your job. So I'm going. I guess not. Yeah, that's what I figured. I actually missed it that time. Throw through the grass to avoid it. I'll do that. I'll be plenty happy to do that. In order to avoid being an Well, we'll be a little farther for forward for the restart. Yeah, this place, even in regular cars, that's very easy to do. So to add the Gen 4, which makes every restarted adventure, put the two and two together and you get ten. Pit road is now open. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. So I think we're fifth now. We'll be on the inside still, that's good. We have two people left of the guys that did not pit, that survived that. Yeah, not surprised. It's part of the reason I, I you know, wanted to say something, maybe remind people. It's going to happen, didn't work. But uh, also, maybe people not plowing into uh, the back of people because they're not expecting it. More likely than not, though, I changed nothing, and that was going to happen exactly the same. We'll be behind. Oh, that kind of sucks. We're behind. Uh... Oh, wait, no. Lewandowski's in second. Okay. Wait, no. No, I was right the first time. Yeah, the two guys that have not pit are in my lane. So that's... Uh... Not my favorite thing. But hopefully the guys uh, in the outside lane will be able to get by without trouble. I'll be able to find my way around and then uh, we can get back to racing. Pits are open. Hopefully the race doesn't just devolve. It was a good, fun first run. We got to see tires start coming into play. When do we plan to pit this next run? See, it should be two to green right here at the line, I think. Right? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yes, two to green. Okay, so. Pit road is closed. Pace car is out. We're starting on 26. Some math real quick. Fifty-four divided by two, twenty-seven, twenty-seven plus twenty-four, fifty-one. We'll uh, plan to pit about fifty-two. I think will be our 
next plan. I feel like the guy behind is getting close to my bumper and it's making me nervous. But I'm just over paranoid about everything, so there's always that. Inside line, but behind some slow guys here, so... The monkey paw curls, uh, curls, oh my god, curls. The monkey paw curls. I've been speaking so terribly lately. It's like my tongue is like three times the size. I'm just... Anyway, I said I like the inside lane, and then uh, now the guys that are on old tires are both on the inside lane. So the monkey paw curls, and I, I get my wish, I guess. Hopefully they do not do the same thing that uh, the other guy did. I might not have even needed to go on the grass to avoid the crashing cars, but uh, I wasn't about to risk it. I'll just take the 1x. Ah, oh, why? Who did it? Who did it? Straight to jail. Straight to jail, 1,000 years, no trial. Who did it? <laughs> uh, fine, we'll do another pace lap, I guess. Now we're gonna pit on lap... What did I say before? 52, yeah, lap 53 now. That's assuming it goes green, which... It's less and less likely that the world ain't sponsored you yet. Not yet. That's kind of like me with Clayton Holmes. He was stuck on the spot for me, but, you know. And I actually worked for him. One left to green. Alright, one to green for real this time, maybe? Pretty please. Heck, we can almost make it on fuel, but that's a stretch. Four point nine gallons. Four point nine gallons. Nah, it's too much to save, I think. We're already lifting off a lot in the corners here. There's not much more we could get out of it, I don't think. So we'll do 53. We'll stick to that plan. We have a little bit of space. I'm going to need it, I think. Guys ahead. Really hope they don't do the thing. You know the thing. Pace car is off. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, 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 green. You're in fifth. Outside. Outside. Clear. The next car is Oops. inside. Waiting for my moment. We're good. Okay, hi. Clear. Didn't run him over, so I guess we're fine. The next car's the leader. Get around the six. You're in fourth position. That was a 33.5. Car outside. Outside, clear. Didn't see Larry for a second. I wasn't sure how much I was catching him. So this is a shorter run than the initial run we were going to have. It's worth keeping in mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. Interesting to see that they're running up higher. Oh wow, I overdrove that pretty bad. 
Never mind. Uh, wasn't thinking enough, I guess. Don't mind seeing them race side by side and potentially being harder on their tires. I'm sure they can manage just fine, but any little advantage I can get would be great. That didn't look particularly good for the tires on Larry there, though. I'm going to take care of these tires, man. We only got one set left to replace them. We get a weird time to caution. Decisions will have to be made. Four's back there as well. I don't. I don't think he qualified near the front, did he? So maybe he'll enter himself in this conversation. Now that he has track position, we'll see. Okie dokie. Loose on exit. I'm going to just stick with my low line. They're definitely pushing harder this time. Got space behind though, that's nice. My concerns of being run over on entry have not come to fruition, so that's great. They look like they've lowered the pace just a bit up ahead. Fuel says 9.2 gallons now. It was saying a much smaller number earlier. Not sure what happened there. Why changed so much? Definitely don't have any illusions of making it to the end, though. Like I said, definitely have to pit. I'm probably going to try doing it on lap 53. But we might stay out a little longer if we end up having better tires than them ahead. They, uh, they had better tires than me last time, however, both of them did, even Lewandowski who was ahead of me, so I'm not going to bank on being able to save tires better than they can, even if they do seem faster right now. It doesn't seem like a likely thing to uh, hang my hat on. They are battling though, they are side by side once again. I do think that's good news for me. They are going at it. They look like they're having fun, though. Seems like a fun race. I'm having fun. I'm just uh, doing it all on my own right here. Having fun trying to uh, maintain my race car during this run. Well, as we're running P3, that's pretty, pretty darn nice. Take that any day. Number four, about a second behind us still. Kind of holding even back there. They're like running up by the wall. Still getting further away from me though.
Very interesting. Just about to halfway. Your lap time was 32.5. Still feels good. Getting a little bit loose on exit on throttle. Maybe just a tiny bit tighter on entry. Still feeling I'm good. Stay low, fellas. Everything's staying low. Good to know. Kind of a weird decision. I, although, I guess uh, they're ahead of us running both lanes are really all over the track, so it's not like uh, it's bottom line dominant here or anything. Okay, Colton, that's half distance. I'll take a line up high for one lap. I'll take any excuse to do that, it's fun. But I will take it easier up there, because I don't want to kill the tires. Used a little brake on the entry to three there, just because I knew I'd have more speed at entering the corner from running the high side one and two. Coming up on halfway here. Kind of one of the things you just got to think about. Thing to be staying low. Hopefully everyone listens to him and doesn't run him over. It's another caution. It's, it seems to be doing a great job. Predictable. Using a little bit of brake now. Car's feeling tighter. Still gonna stick with this lower line though. Maybe we push a couple of laps before we pit. Okay, Colter. Pit window is open. Pit window is open. That's good to know. They're driving away from me even though I'm trying to save tires. It's unfortunate. <laughs> There's a skill gap here, I think. Between me and them. But I mean, heck, they're both like 7,000 I rating, so I'm not going to feel bad about that. Take a look at Race Lab. Lewandowski's at 6.9k, Larry is at 7.9k. So Larry's basically 8,000. Yeah, no. Nah. You guys want to drive away from me? I understand. behind is now 1.4 seconds. You've just done a 33.2. I think I might uh, try a lane up. Maybe even just middle lane, like they're doing now. Kind of like that middle entry, lower exit kind of thing. That worked very well right there. At least compared to last lap. Got loose though in the quad oval. That's fine. Plan still is lap 53, I think. spin in the quad oval that'd be very embarrassing. 
and lap time was 33.1. Very loose on exit. Coming up on the 16 here. Seems to be running a higher line, so we'll go low. Car outside. Clear up top. No issue there. That lap was at 33.3. Wow, it's really loose. I did not really expect that. I tried to run higher that time and the car just got really loose. How about that? That's something else. Let me move up the track though with how loose it is. Start doing some uh, hopefully faster lap times. Let's see though. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. That's a little better. We're going to be changing the tires before too long, so I'm not too concerned about using them up now. Especially if I'm going to be using up the right front. Probably need some balance with that right rear right now. They have driven away, though. They uh, knew how to approach it much better. like a middle line got for me here. Okay, okay, I like it, I like it. Not as much of a run off. Pretty equal overall. They're side by side again up there. They're having a great race. I said I was going to pit here. I think I'm going to go one more, though. Kind of like in uh, using this higher line for a minute. Oh, wow, they got a lap car messing them up up there. Cut it close, but I think it was fast. I didn't yeah. want to announce that. I'm hoping they don't notice. <laughs> Five, three, two, one. Right here. Oh, you idiot. <sighs> no grip in the tires means no stopping either. I still don't need those tires anymore. I can slide them all I want. Move it, move it. Watch out of the car. A little risky to pit early. I mean, not early. It was my planned pit stop, but earlier than other people. But it's all right. Whatever happens, happens. Run quick for a little bit. Car 
You're where he was planning to be on the track. Other people pitting. P12, the captain holds behind is increasing. It's now 0.8. Car outside. Still there. Outside is clear. Okay, Colton, we need to pass this guy to get the lucky dog position. Alright. Let's get back on this lead lap as soon as possible if we can. They're staying out long, that's very interesting. That? Need to get into a good position where we can maybe get the lucky dog though. Lewandowski on pit road, Larry is still out, but we are the lucky dog now. You're in the top Gonna gain time on him, but not as much as we could have because I messed up my pit to stop. And of course I it's gonna have... hitting 15, do not run low. Fresh tires. I said do not run low, he's running low behind him. He didn't really have time to change the line though. He just did not listen. This guy ran at about four, so I'm assuming he's going to do it again. Thanks for the warning, Larry. Couldn't hear you properly, though. Where are we going to end up? Oh my god. Yeah, no idea where he's trying to be. Get out though. Run the pile in, uh, uh, lap though. <clears throat> You know, they ran that middle lane and much better than me that last run. Maybe I should be running the middle lane. You're back in fourth position. That was here. 31.6. Inside. Clear inside. A little awkward there. I figured it out. I have no idea where this cycled out. Bad thing, got loose Hmm. I don't see where Lewandowski and Larry came out. I couldn't understand what he was saying. Go low. Clear outside if you want it. We're in P2, and the guy ahead is guy has a pit. How's this going to work out? Keep it up, keep it up, keep digging. No 
Master Tires goes by. Oh, he was saying staying high, take it low, so that's what I did. That's good. Great race! We got ourselves a green flag pit stop. I don't understand how I'm three seconds ahead of Larry after uh, messing out my pit stop, but he's going to catch me really quick, so that's not going to last. Lower car will be up point. Sorry, clean that dirty air got me all messed up. I got to run higher up the track, I think. I think I just gotta go. See what I can do. Thank you. Okay, Colton, you're reeling. Walter, in the gaps now. 16 seconds. Let the tires fall if they want. We'll have some fun leading the race while we can. Unless that uh, 18 can make it all the way, which I'll say hi here, Thomas. would be awesome. <laughs> That'd be cool to see, to be honest. I think he's gonna catch us really soon though. That's good consistency, keep it up. The leader the is pitting. pitting. The leader's pitting now. There goes the leader. Me Not able to make it to the end. We might not even lead a lap because I think Larry's going to pass us this lap. <laughs> kind of sucks. Would have been fun to lead a lap. We didn't lead early, did we? I don't think so. Inside. That's here. Still inside. Clear inside. Thank you. Hopefully we can hold on the third. Uh, the guy in third pit about when we did, so probably should be fine. Inside. Clear by. Inside. Let them race it out. Well, we got to be in the lead for a little bit. We didn't lead a lap, I don't think, but we got to be in the lead. Hey, now if Lewandowski catches him, maybe they'll have themselves a battle. You never know. I don't know what this guy's doing. Totally messed up. Corner for him ahead, though. Is he caught rejoining? He's having some trouble controlling that thing, I think. Yeah, do they thought if we want to know. So we're back in P3, where we belong. That's <laughs> what so it's kind of looking like. Anyone coming on fresh tires? Give him plenty of room. I'm told the four is gaining on us. That's a little scary. I'd love to keep this spot. He's catching though, he's catching slowly. I think we should be able to hold on to this. I just really hope we don't get a caution. Really make this a mess, I think. Because there's no tires left for me. Yeah. Oh, 
Yellow 15, I'm, I'm on old type. The four is catching us. Yikes. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. I'm on you, Ty. Are you just getting a wall ahead of us? Up. Maybe just really loose on exit. Oh heck, maybe I should have been going low this whole time. That's kind of actually a lot faster. How does it balance out out with the run though? You got five laps to go. Eh, about equal, I guess. But if that's the case, maybe I don't want to be killing the tires doing that. Maybe I have not been doing this right. We'll do a high line one and two, and low middle three and four. The lap time was at thirty-three point one. See if we can hold on to this P three. It's really that sliding past my box that killed me, though. It's a couple seconds, and that's exactly uh, what might make the difference here for us in the four. Oh my gosh, loose in the quad oval. And we hold on to this. Kind of close up ahead. I think Larry's got it though. He even has a lap fresher tires, I think. He's had a better green flag pit stop. All right, made it to the white flag. No cautions now. Should be okay. I think we'll be able to hold on to P3 too. Because well, I don't hit any walls. Anything like that. Alright. One final corner. <clears throat> good race, good win. Yeah, good win. That's fun trying to chase you down there, Colton. Just couldn't get to you. Well done, Colton. Great drive. Right. Yeah, I had a bad a green flag pit stop. I thought it was going to be worse on me, even. A good job. Yep, yeah, honest there. Good race. Yep, good race. All right. Larry gets Later. the win. And we will get P3, as iRacing predicted. I'm very happy with that. I'm very uh, content. 64-77, final run. Harder on that right front as I pick the high line a little bit more. And we'll jump right into the incidents. As you see the finishing order. That was a great race. It was like two cautions. And one of them was immediately after the first one. See one, two, and then that was a green flag pit stop. That's good stuff. That was fun. All right, let's see what did happen out here. Lap four. I think our first caution was on lap seventeen. Ooh. Hmm. Twenty-four, a little low on exit. Should probably be a little bit higher there. I think it was also net code aided though. Might not have happened otherwise. But they keep it uh, parallel with the track, so no caution. 
Six finds some wall. Up 16. Really? We have intentional wrecking going on here? That was stupid. Yeah, thanks, Colton. I was just wondering what happened there. I sort of was getting the same impression as well. No, well, that happens, I guess. Yeah, that was completely unnecessary. The 24 was too far off the wall on that first track, and there was even a little bit of, like, net code, too, that made it happen when it might not have anyway. And then that was pretty blatant, him wrecking you on lap 16 on purpose, I think. So that's pretty dumb. <laughs> I saw that while looking through the incidents. Yeah, that's pretty awful. Yeah, I was, sort of, was going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe his car was damaged and he might have lost it on the, uh, on the apron. But nah, I think it was intentional. Yeah, you hate that. You see that stuff. Thank you for being a predictable lap car as well. You know, saying you were going to stay low and stuff. That's appreciated. Yeah, well, at the time I felt like quitting the race, but I thought, you know, I'll stay out like you would in the real race. And uh, it probably doesn't really give you the guys that much confidence when you're coming up. But I know from racing road that, if the guys give you a fair amount of warning, you know what's going to happen. It sort of helps a little bit. Yeah, you did a great job. And uh, staying out too helps your safety rating come back a little bit, so that's always nice. <laughs> no worries, Colton. Have a good day. And I'll catch you in the next one. Yes, have a good one. Sorry again to see that that happened. All right. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, speaking of pretty bad, we had a pretty bad restart here. Um, just a very predictable guys getting loose. Uh, throttle, it sneaks up on you, and sometimes it happens before you can even react. Oh, man, both Larry and Lewandowski so close to being in that, too. Wow. Really unfortunate for the uh, 11 there. Because the 23 just ends up right in his lap. There's nothing you can do about that. And then there's the whole field. How many people end up in this? Probably a nice fair bit. Actually, not as big as I thought it might have been. But plenty of guys getting uh, bumped around. Money up in the wall. Some safer barrier. Probably gonna just get some wall hits here for a minute. We had a really great long green run. Whoa, 14 getting loose, and he actually saves the other guy, putting it up into the wall. That was selfless of him. To uh, take a harder hit, probably, in the end. Just to not hit the other guy. that? He blow his engine? Why does that sound weird? That was strange. <laughs> it sounded like his engine stopped and then... I guess he was fine. Who needs an engine anyway? We're only going 190. These must just be tires getting old. Some of these and the little wall hits there. So we'll skip ahead a little bit faster right now. Get some green flag pit stops going on and everything. 
Thankfully, no caution during that. That put us in a bad spot. Spin on entry? Nope. He's good. It's a guy that went long. I thought we were seeing that maybe because uh, maybe he get on the brakes too hard and spawn, but that's not what happened. We're almost, just, almost to the end of this thing, though. Oh, wow, the 7 gets hit on entry by faster tires. That could have easily been a late caution, which would have really been ugly, I think. I mean, you saw how the restart went earlier in the race. Imagine everybody trying to win the race. And uh, I don't know if we're going to see anything else. Tire's getting old. Here we are in the final lap. Probably not much else to see. 17 gets loose out of the corner and almost wrecks it. Oh, he eventually finds the wall. Man, he was wheeling that thing, trying to keep it heading the right way. And uh, that'll conclude this one. So, P3, right at our car number. Able to hold on to it, even after a bit of a slower green flag pit stop. And, uh... Yeah, that's about as much as I could ask for, I think. And then some. Nice solid finish, 0x, right? Oh, right, we took the 1x to avoid the crash. But uh, how unnecessary was that? I didn't actually look at myself for that one. <laughs> I imagine it was probably very unnecessary. Here we pit. Yeah, that was so unneeded, I think. <laughs> I mean, I can't really see, so I don't know if they're crashing out there. I would rather do that and not take any risks, because I don't know, he, he could have bounced off of Blue Andowski there and spun to the left, and then guess who he's heading for, you know, right toward me, so. I'll take the 1x, I'll still be a 4.9 after this, so. I'll take it. Alright, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, that was a fun race. Uh, only the couple of cautions, and uh, we're able to give it our best. Finish P3. Alright, good stuff. See you next time.